Hey, welcome YouTube Universe. It's me, E.T. Clark, and guess what? I am starting another video series. This one here is really just to illustrate the power of selling options to generate income. This video series here is going to discuss and go over and you'll see me actually use the wheel strategy to generate income. And the stock that I uh, chose to start this series with, and actually this, this is gonna be the focus of the series, is fuel sales. Fuel cell is a, uh, fuel cell is a clean energy company that we'll go more into as we get into this presentation. But uh, what we're gonna do with fuel cells, we're gonna use, we're gonna follow fuel cells from the beginning to the end. We're gonna use the uh, wheel strategy from cash secure puts to cover calls all the way through as many times as we can get it around that wheel to see exactly how much money we can generate and what type of return on investment we can actually get. Um, I've already started it. I actually started it about two weeks ago. And then when I started it, I decided, you know what, let me make this into a video series so that way I can share this information with you guys. Because as you guys know, I am not a financial advisor. I'm not your financial advisor. I am just a self-taught investor who likes to talk about stocks and ways to utilize the money in order to generate income. So what we're gonna do first of all, we're gonna do this kind of backwards. I'm gonna take you to uh, my Robinhood account because the platform that we're using is gonna be on Robinhood. I'm gonna take you to my Robinhood account talk a little bit about Robinhood, show you my account, and then we're gonna go back to the board and I'm going to detail how this is structured, what I've done over the course of the last two weeks. And at the very end of this video, you'll have the link in the description and also at the end of the video so that you can watch one other video. This other video, this is really just too long to, 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 to place it here is going to show you exactly the trade transaction that I made on uh, fuel sales by using Robinhood. It's just gonna be, you're gonna, I'm just, you're gonna see everything that I did in Robinhood in order to, uh, to look up the option price, to select the option price, to uh, actually put it in the order and then having the order filled. That's gonna be on another video. So watch this to the end, check out the description. You'll get a link to that, that way you can see that. And I'll update our progress on fuel sales every week and till we stop using it in the wheel strategy. So let's go to Robinhood. Come on now. That's right. Go ahead and hit that like and subscribe buttons followed by that notification button. That'll help out the channel. Right, let's go ahead Thanks. and open up the Robinhood platform. Now, while that's doing that, uh, the Robinhood platform, I think it's an excellent pa platform for beginners. And the reason why I say beginners is because it's number one, it's easy to navigate and to also understand. It's, it's pretty intuitive. And uh, that's one of the things that I like about the Robinhood platform. Now, I had uh, I have three other actually I have uh, four other uh, accounts or platforms that I use for uh, trading and investing in stocks. I have an E-Trade, Charles Schwab, uh, Fidelity, and a Weeble. All of them have their different purposes. And uh, with this Robinhood account, uh, I just pretty much got back into it. I had about three four thousand dollars over there, uh, and. Uh, I was just thinking, I, I, I knew that certain stocks were ripe for the wheel strategy so far as generating income. You know, after the tech wreck and a, and a downturn in the market and some of these stocks got hit, uh, now would be a perfect time to, to start generating some income off of those. Uh, so what I did is I went to my, I have a savings account and uh, for emergency purposes and, and so forth. And I went to that account and I transferred $15,000 into this account because I decided I wanted to run the wheel strategy on fuel cells. So I, I transferred $15,000 and started that strategy. Now, if you look at the Robinhood account here, 
as you can see, the ones that right up top are the fuel sales uh, options that I have. One's a call options, one is a put options. I'll explain why that's separated like that in just a minute once we get back to the board. The Robinhood platform really breaks it down here. It here's a list of all the options that I have. And one of the things that I really like about Robinhood is how you can go ahead and put together and execute your various types of debit and credit spreads. You know, like you see, I have a, a debit spread on Workhorse here. I have a debit spread on Wynn Resorts. But also, these are the stocks that I own within Robinhood. And also, here is a list of the cryptocurrency that I also have within Robinhood. So I, I like that. I like the fact that I can change this display to match anything that I want, whether it's the last price, my equity, today's return, total return. So overall, I, I think it's a good platform. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna follow fuel cell all the way through that wheel strategy just to see how much money we can generate. So what I wanna do now is take it back to the board. I'm gonna go back to the board so that we can see uh, how the wheel, wheel strategy works and actually generating income from selling options. And also I'll speak on why did I choose fuel cell and how much money I was already able to generate in a two week period of time. And we'll take a look at that return on investment percentage. That is gonna be key. Uh, percentage is nothing more than a way to, to judge how successful you are. But also if you understand the rule of 72, if you can do that on a consistent basis, you can know exactly how long it's gonna take for you to double your money. So let's go Okay, back. let's go ahead and dive into this. First thing I wanna do is let you know exactly why did I choose fuel cell now fuel cell is a company that I've been tracking for quite some time uh, for the most part of last year in the beginning of this year I've actually did some cash secure puts and some covered calls on fuel fuel cells however the price ran up outside of my range and I had to cut ties with it and 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 and, and move on to something else however Fuel sales, the price now is back within the range that I could work with when it comes to covered calls and cash secure puts. So, fuel sales, why did I choose it? Number one, it's a clean energy play. As we already know, the, you know, the hot areas now is clean energy, EV, all of that stuff related to it. And fuel cell is definitely a leader when it comes to that. So, I know about the company and I decided, you know what, let me go ahead and uh, it's, everything is set up perfect for me to start doing this strategy on. Uh, price decline, a lot of the price decline from, from, from fuel cell had to do with the tech wreck. We already know about that. You know, that happened with that last week and in February, the first three weeks in March. But also, fuel cells missed their earnings. They had good revenue and everything else, it's just that they missed their, the earnings of the, of the analysts there. So they got hammered for it which is a good thing for us, a good thing for me, because now I can generate some income off of that. Also, it's trading between a range of $13 and $17. That sweet spot is at $15 right in the middle. And that's what I'm gonna keep focusing on when it comes to writing covered calls, cash secure puts. And the closer that, that price is to that 15, um, I think we could probably make uh, some good money on that. It is a weekly option. It's another thing that I like. It's weekly. That means I, it, first of all, it's going to keep me busy. It keeps me excited. Anything happens within the stock, within that, that particular week, I can go ahead and do the necessary uh, management of that option. And I use the Keltner channel to determine when to get in and get out of a stock. Now the Keltner channel, Keltner channel, if you have it, if you're not familiar with it, is a is a it's, it's a range. It's it's a channel that shows the range of a of a particular stock. It shows the support, it shows the resistance on top, and right in the middle, it has the mid is the midpoint. So normally, what I will do when I look at the Keltner channel, I'll see if a stock is at the resistance at the support or in the middle. In this particular case, when I looked at fuel cell, it was actually below the mid 
and almost touching the support. And at that particular point, that's when I knew it's time for me to go ahead and jump in there. So uh, that's the reason why I chose fuel cell, something I'm familiar with. It's within the range that I like. Now, let's go over real quick on how the wheel strategy works. In order to understand the wheel strategy, you have to know what a cash secure put is. You have to know what a cover call is. Really, just those two by itself makes up this strategy. You start off with a cash secure put. Pretty much you're saying, I'm willing to buy a certain amount of uh, shares of stock at this price by this certain date. And if it's at that price or below, they're going to assign that to you. But when you set up that contract to buy that stock at that certain price by that certain date, you get paid for it. You get paid a premium for it. That's why I like selling options. The selling part, not the buying part. Because if you sell anything, you're going to get paid. So now, if it's at or below that price, you're going to buy it at that price. It's going to be assigned to you. Once it's assigned to you, now you own those shares. Once you have ownership of those shares, as long as it's in within 100 share blocks, you can sell covered calls on it. Once again, you enter into a covered call contract, they're going to pay you for it. That means you're willing to sell a contract of uh, shares of stock at a certain price by a certain date. On the expiration date, if the stock is at or above that price, it can be exercised away from you. In other words, sold at that agreed upon price. That's not a problem because normally when you set your prices, you're going to set your price above your cost basis anyway. So you may not make the max amount of money, but you're going to make some money on it. You know, you made money on getting the premiums and you made money on selling the stock. So if it's exercise away from you, what you can do is you can immediately start doing it again. Start either with that same stock or you can pick a new stock and do this all over again. But remember, once you enter into a contract, whether it's a cash secure put, as soon as you enter into that contract, in other words, it's executed, you get paid. Once it's executed on a, a, a covered call, you get paid. You get paid for the covered call and you also get paid for the sale of the stock. So let's go over the history for fuel sales. Like I said, I started this about two weeks ago. The very, the very first transaction, happened on the 15th of March. Uh, it was a cash secure put with a strike price of 15 with an expiration date of 19 March 21. All right. I re wanted to put in a request for 10 contracts. So that was going to cost me $15,000 in collateral. Now, when I went to the Options uh, chain, I seen that it was 52 cents. So to enter into that contract, I got paid since 52 cents, that's 52 cents per share. I was willing to buy a thousand shares at $15 and they paid me 52 cents per share to enter into this contract. In other words, they immediately paid me $520 to enter into that contract. This is what happened on the 19th fuel cell closed at 1497. When it closed at 1497, first thing I thought of on, on that Friday, well, okay, not a problem. It's 3% below uh, my strike price. They're going to assign those shares to me. But you got to remember when it comes to options on expiration date, you have after hours that you have to pay attention to and they won't settle everything until the next day, which is Saturday. So I woke up on Saturday morning, checked my account, and lo and behold, they only assigned one half of my contracts to me. The other half, they released it back. It went back into my account. In other words, 7,500 bucks went back into my account, but I was, I bought, uh, 500 shares at $15. That was 7,500 bucks. 
So now I have 500 shares and I still have 7,500 bucks back sitting back in my account. So with that, on that Monday, which was the 22nd, since I was doing the wheel strategy, I decided, you know what? I'm gonna continue on. So I was able to split them. Since I had ownership of, uh, of shares of stock, I decided to, number one, number two, do a cash secure put, strike price of $15, expiring on the 26th of March, with this, which is this coming Friday. And when I entered into that contract, they paid me. Yes, they did. Check it out. $505. Half as many, and I got paid almost the same. And the reason why is because of price action. When I enter into this contract here, when I the first time I entered into the contract, it was right around 15. Here, it was about 1540. So it actually, you know, had gone up. And because of that, the premiums was, were uh, the premiums were more. As a result, <laughs> half those shares I made what I made. Uh, almost made what I made that, that following week. So, I still had 500 shares. I wrote a covered call on it, 22nd, wrote a covered call, $15 strike price, expired on the 26th of March, and they paid me $355. All right, when you add up these three, it comes up to $1,000. $380. That's the money that hit my account. That's why I love this technique. As soon as it hits your account, once it clears, normally it takes about 24 hours to clear. Once it clears, that's your money to do whatever you want to do with it. Now, <clears throat> some people were saying, well, hey, I, I use $15,000 to generate $1,300 in a two week period of time. Yeah, that was 10 contracts. You add them both up, still contracts, regardless. Uh, but keep this in mind. This is scalable. Even if it was just one contract, this would have been 138 bucks. And what you really have to understand is what was the rate of return? What was your return on investment? The return on investment was 9% regardless of whether I had one contract, 10 contract, 20 contract, the rate of return was gonna be the same, 9%. That there is key. Where else can you go in a matter of two weeks and get a 9% return? That's the beauty of selling options for income. So with this said, what we're gonna do is we're gonna see what's gonna happen on the 26th of March. We'll see whether or not we're gonna have a thousand shares or zero shares, but guess what? We have zero shares. If they take them all away, if they're exercised away from us, it's not a problem. And the reason why is because as long as fuel cell is within this range, 13 to 70, 17 bucks, I'm going to continue the wheel. I'll start it all over again next week and I'll just keep going and I'll just keep going until it gets without outside of these range. And that's when I'll stop the wheel and we'll see exactly total amount generated and what's our uh, rate of return. In other words, our return on investment. So stick around. I'll see you guys definitely next week. Uh, with updates as to what happened on the 26th and what we're going to do. Uh, what is that? That's going to be Friday. That's going to be the 29th. So we'll see what happens on the 29th. That's when we'll do the next video. Uh, also, there's a link that's going to be in the description. Uh, they're going to they're gonna be links in the descriptions. Uh, number one, to check out the very next video. I'm going to release a video right after this one, to the same day, 
that one there is going to be a video that actually shows you these two transactions that happened yesterday. I recorded the actual transaction in Robinhood so far as pulling up the information on fuel cell, um, taking a look at the options chain, uh, put it in my order and watching it being filled and executed. So uh, check out that video, but also in the descriptions, you're gonna have a link for Robinhood and Weeble. If you're interested in, in uh, setting up uh, a trading account, and if you're thinking about Robinhood or Weeble, just go to that link, click on that, and you can go ahead and get things set up. Now, with all that being said, let me leave you guys with this here. If you're willing to do what most people won't do, eventually you'll be able to do what most people can't do. Always remember to save, invest, and apply what you know, because knowledge is not power, it's the application of knowledge that's power. Hey, I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care, bye-bye.